So before I start this video, I just want to say, I usually script a lot of my videos, like I write out what I'm going to say. This one is completely, there's no script for it. I've not written anything. This is completely from my drunken memory, let's just say. Today I'm going to tell you the story of how me and my friends and a bunch of other people almost got arrested and kicked out of Download Festival last year. Alright, so, where to begin? First off, does anyone recognise this thing? That is one of those fun house, crazy house, whatever you want to call it, at fun fairs that you get where there's a bunch of different stuff. Usually for kids, but Download Festival has one. The one that I showed you was the one at Download Festival. Just to say, I was absolutely trashed when this happened. Like, one of my most... I've never been so drunk in my life. So there was me, Connor, Max and Matt. If you've seen my download vlog from last year, you should know who they are. And there was Corey as well, but he'd gone back to his tent because I, I, don't, I don't even know. So the doghouse had closed. If you don't know what the doghouse is, the doghouse is basically what I like to call the download nightclub. It plays music all night, there's mosh pits, there's DJs, there's all that kind of stuff. And it goes on all night and everyone's just really drunk and having fun there. It's just great. So anyway, we're walking back to our tent and we walked past the fun house. I'm going to say it was about 4am, it was still dark. There were people on the right at the top of it, on what, the top level of whatever the hell was up there. And they were saying, guys, come up, come up! And they were just like cheering and screaming from the top of it. Now me and Connor and Max and Matt, being drunk, said, probably, I don't, I don't even remember how it happened really, I just remember getting on. We got on the ride, for fuck's sake, we got on the ride. We got on the ride, because they were going, yeah, come on guys, it'll be fun, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can imagine what they were saying, because they were having a right good time up there, wherever they were. Um, I think we all made it to the top, apart from Matt. And, well, me, Max and Connor were on the top level, and we were shouting to other people, with other people saying, Come up, guys! Come up, guys! We managed to get a load of other people up there. Ugh. There was at least 20 of us up there in the end. So there was about 20 of us on this closed ride at 4am, and then all of a sudden, we saw police come into the ride. And some police get, were getting on the ride. We all began to make our way down the ride, a policeman was blocking our way at the bottom of the ride, not letting us get off, saying you've all got to stand here now. I think a couple of the download managers came over as well. It could have been the actual manager, literally terrified right now what is going to happen to us. So we've got a couple of police blocking our way on the ride, not letting any of us off, saying we've all got to stand here. I wondered what the hell was going on. I thought we were all just going to get like a telling off. I realised Matt wasn't with us. Matt had ran off just before the police got there. So thanks for that, Matt. He got very lucky and just ran off and ended up back in camp. Me, Max and Connor, trapped on the ride with a bunch of other people who had just met. I think the download manager came over, it was one of the managers or something like that. And he thinks it's something like, if there's been any damage on this ride, you know you're all going to be fined or something like that. None of us had the intention, I don't think anyway, none of us had the intention of breaking the ride. We were just drunk and it was there and people were saying come and climb it, so we did. Obviously I would have never have done that if I wasn't drunk, I would have said no straight away and just walked on. And I would have been like, bloody hell, what are those idiots that they're doing? They're gonna get in trouble. The guy said, we're gonna walk you to the front entrance with the police and get your details. If any of you try and make a run for it, then you're getting immediately kicked out right now. Don't make this any harder than it has to be or something like that. So, next thing we know, we're all in a row, walking up to the download village area, to the main, like, I don't know, what is it, the, where all the managers and all the paper, did all the paperwork and stuff, so, and all, there's like police fans and all that behind there and all the security and... We all get walked right up there anyway, and it's getting light now, I think it's nearly 5am by the time this actually happens. And there's like, we've got police at the front of us, police at the back of us, just not letting us, like, making sure none of us run off. I don't think any of us did run off, because that would have been, like, a really stupid idea. We had to face whatever was coming, because we've been stupid, let's face it. I remember us all standing in a row, in this really dodgy little area, that like a little... It I think, this is what I imagined Download Jail was. I think it was Download Jail, basically. And basically, we all had to give our names and phone numbers. Basically, I thought this is it. This is where we're usually going to get kicked out, or we're going to something's going to happen. We're going to get arrested or something. The manager said something like, "Because all of you sh have you shown, all of you have been mature and come over or something like that. The ride isn't damaged at all. I'm going to let you all go on this one occasion. If any of you ever step out line in this week on this weekend again, then you're facing immediately getting kicked out of the festival." So we got let off. I think he like he noticed that we we're all like, I, I think I even said sorry. I was like, "Oh, sorry, sorry for climbing the ride." <laughs> I think it's because, like, a lot of us seemed really sorry and we were all being genuine and been, like, really sensible when he was asking for our details and that was it. We all walked out. I remember us all being really relieved and we all, like, had a nice walk back to camp together. And we all, we also all got a massive, like, group picture together. I still have the picture as well, so here's that. 
So basically, I faced getting kicked out of download on my first ever download festival, plus getting in trouble with the police. What can I say? I'm, I'm really stupid. So we went back to the tents, Matt was still awake, he asked us what happened, I think. I was still really drunk at this point. But yeah, Matt was there in his tent, he said, how did it go, are you in trouble, are you getting kicked out? And no, we weren't, but thanks for leaving us there, bud. I would have done the exact same thing if I had the chance to run away. The mean Connor opened up our tent, and guess who was there, laid in his own sick. So, to end that perfect night, I had to take Cory's bed out, pour it upside down and get the sick off. Decided it was, it was going to smell too much, we didn't have anything to wash the sick off with, so that got left outside. So the tent smelt really bad that night, but we were so drunk I think we all just passed out and then woke up the next morning and no one mentioned it I don't think. I don't remember mentioning it the next morning at all. I think I thought I dreamt it. That's how weird it was because of how drunk I was. So the moral of this story is, if you like going on rides, go on them when they're open, not when they're closed. Okay? It's good advice right there.